Welcome everybody back to Chicago Auto Pros. I am Jason, and we got a special guest here today, Alex. What's up, Jason? Alex has a YouTube channel, Legit Street Cars. Go check him out. Right now we got his 2003 E55 AMG in the shop. So we're gonna do a different type of style vlog for you guys today. We're gonna do an in-depth approach of how we clean, correct, and protect a vehicle with Modesta ceramic coating. You ready? I'm totally ready. Let's do this. Let's go. We start the detailing process by washing the vehicle. We always start rinsing and cleaning the wheels first. The wheels on Alex's E55 were freshly powder coated, so it didn't take much effort to get them clean. Next we're going to soap the vehicle down for its initial wash. When you're detailing and polishing a vehicle, you want the paint surface to be clean as possible. And more times than not, washing the vehicle isn't going to be enough. You can have above surface contaminants like sap, tar, and iron particles that will adhere themselves to the clear coat. These contaminants will not come off with normal washing. We showed Alex a little trick. If you put your hand in a bag, it'll enhance the feeling on your fingertips and you can feel the roughness to the paint. Hey guys, I know you can't feel this, but it is seriously, it's like sandpaper. Yeah. It's literally like sandpaper. So to dissolve the iron particles, we use a product called IronX and we let it dwell on the paint for a few minutes. It then gets rinsed and we use a clay bar to exfoliate any other contaminants on the paint surface. All right, the prep process is all done. The next step is to inspect the paint for any paint defects. We wanna come up with a game plan of the process we're gonna to use to correct the paint. So Tadas has an inspection light here, and we're gonna go ahead and look at all the panels and look for all the damage that we can find on the vehicle. While we inspect the paint, we had our dent repair guy, Dennis, come out and remove several door dings in the vehicle. Now this is a 15 year old vehicle, and while looking over the paint, we found a few very interesting things. The first thing we notice on the vehicle is that the front bumper, the hood, the driver's side fender, and the trunk lid all appear to be repainted. We knew about the front bumper because Alex has just put a new aftermarket E63 front bumper and had it repainted. When you have an older car in for paint correction, we always have to inspect the thickness of the paint. We don't know the exact history of this vehicle and we don't know how many times it may have been buffed previous to coming to our shop. So using the paint gauge will give us an idea of how much clear coat we have to work with. Now I was assuming that the hood, driver's fender, and the deck lid were repainted because of the visible wet sanding marks in the panels. But after using the paint gauge and getting a very low reading, normally you would have readings that triple the factory painted parts, if it was a repaint, so we came to a conclusion that the panels were either repainted, wet sanded, and buffed to death, or that the factory paint was sanded and buffed. Either way, the paint was very thin. And after the inspection, we found multiple burn marks, more wet sanding marks, and weird discolored areas. Now we as detailers look at paint way different than the average client. A lot of the things we find on vehicles will go unnoticed to the untrained eye. Most of the defects we found on Alex's car were actually very minor. The normal scratches and swirls we see are surface defects that will be correctable by machine polishing. The one deep scratch we found on the door may not fully come out, but it will be greatly reduced. The paint gauge has told us that the paint is very thin and we have to be extremely careful in a couple of the areas not to further damage the paint. We get started by using a Rupes LHR15 machine with a Lake Country microfiber pad and CarPro's clear cut compound to remove all the defects we can. We spend the rest of the day just cutting away.
Number two of the Mercedes E55 AMG project. Yesterday we spent most of the day prepping, taking out the dents. Dennis was here, he took out the dents on the hood and the side. And then we had a couple of guys that were doing the cutting process on this vehicle, taking all the paint defects out. They got most of the car done yesterday. They got the whole side, the front, the back. They have the back bumper and the back tailgate left to do. I'm here a little early today because I want to get the interior of this vehicle done uh, before the other guys come and polish and start to apply the Modesta coating. So let's get to it. After I started the interior detail, Tata showed up shortly after and helped me knock it out. We continued the morning compounding out all the defects, and then we wiped all the panels with alcohol to remove all the compounding oils and inspect the paint to make sure that we have removed all the defects possible. After the compounding's done, we're left with a haze, or as detailers like to refer to it as buffer trails or micro marring. To further refine the paint, we're going to use a light cut polish and a foam finishing pad. For this step, we're gonna use Modesta's Finishing Primer Polish. This will polish and prime the paint for the ceramic coating. Now to give you some perspective, an average detailer will do all these steps, cut, polish, and protection in three to four hours. They will take several shortcuts and use products with fillers that cover up swirls and give the appearance of shiny paint, but will wash away after just a couple washes. We are not your average detail shop and we don't take any shortcuts when it comes to paint correction. Paint correction is a very slow and labor intensive process. We spend a total of 20 man hours correcting and polishing the E55's paint. Now that the paint is close to perfection as possible, we touch up all the rock chips and bring it into our clean room and get ready to lay down Modesta BCO4. If you don't know what a ceramic coating is, you can check out the video series I made link below. It'll give you everything you need to know about a ceramic coating. The short version is that it's like a wax, but it's thicker, more durable, meaning it's chemical resistant, very hydrophobic, glossier, and will last years instead of months like waxes and paint sealants. We chose to put Modesta BCO4 on this vehicle because it's black, and black shows swirl marks and scratches very easily. This coating is a very hard, durable coating that'll help reduce the amount of car wash and reduce scratches. We also sprayed the wheels with Modesta BCO6 high temperature coating. This coating will withstand the hot temperatures of the brake system and rims and make it much easier to clean off all that built up brake dust. It's time to bring out the E55 outside and show off the spectacular results. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and make sure you subscribe for more detailing videos. Also a big thank you to Alex from Legit Streetcars for trusting us to do the work. Click on the pop-up to head over to Alex's channel for more videos on his E55 and much, much more.